right guys, before we jump into this video, I want to let you guys know that the long-awaited blue collar bread hoodies are back in stock over at the Work For It Apparel website. As you can see, we've got a ton of them, so jump on them now for the holidays before we sell out. There will be a link right here or a link down in the description, workforitapparel.com. Let's roll this video. What's up and good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. Gunner, as always, say hi to the channel, buddy. Oh, you're very excited. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that tickle. Just that tickle. Just that tickle. Gunner's uh, clearly very excited. So if you guys haven't already spotted them, um, I brought back everybody's favorite super sweet braids that I'm sure uh, a lot of people are going to talk crap about. But you know what? Every once in a while, you got to change it up. And they're kind of looking a little, a little ragged right now because uh, they were done yesterday. But oh, well. So on today's agenda, um, well, let's backtrack a little bit. If you guys saw my Instagram um, two days ago, I posted kind of a, a little poll on my, uh, my Instagram page on whether or not I should go with like a F450 dually or if I should go with a new Ram dually. And prior to buying the BBB, the truck that I have right now, my Denali, I was like dead set on getting a dually. And really the only reason I didn't was because parking in California sucks. Um, you can barely fit like a stock car, let alone a big lifted truck, let alone a dually. But if you really think about like width of a dually versus the width of my truck, like they're very, very similar. And I'm to the point where like, you know what? We've already built a really big single rear wheel truck. Like, I think it's time we should build a really big dually. Like that's kind of the next step in just keep going bigger, badder, and better. So today I think we're going to join up with uh, Wes, probably Chris, uh, I can't guarantee that. And let's go look at an F450. So we're waiting on the rest of the boys to show up to HQ and it uh, seems like the Denali here is becoming more and more of a work truck, delivery truck. Oh, I think I hear, uh, we should turn Wes's truck into the work truck now. Being that he is the hardest working guy on the channel, but I can't wait to get the Ford back so I can stop like risking tearing up the interior on this truck even though i'm sure once we get the ford back i'm not going to want to use it anymore because it's going to have a beautiful paint job on it well, wes has a surprise for everybody here come on wes let's see what we got everybody's gonna get real excited oh you see that you see that oh what's that mean i don't know you don't know oh i think i know what that means well everybody's wish has come true we're gonna be seeing wes i think we're gonna be seeing chris we're gonna get, we're bringing the whole crew out to SEMA, guys. So it's gonna be exciting to have everybody out there. Now, Wes, you ain't supposed to touch everything when we go to SEMA, just nah, so you know. Well, I'm a, I'm a, I'll be a buyer so I can touch what I want. Oh, there you go. All right. And well, then uh, I gotta stop by uh, Zales, gotta pick up a ring. <laughs> I'm gonna meet a real special person there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you wanna shout her out in the video? No. You sure? Why are you getting all nervous and red, bro? Know. Just shout her out in the video. I, I just need a follower. Who are you really excited to go see? Go on, bro. I don't know. Oh, all of a sudden you're shy now. Shy was. Oh, look shy. how red that forehead is. <laughs> Why are you blushing so much, dude? I'm always shy. Come on. Lacey Blair, <laughs> it's going to be nice to meet you. All right, we're, we got to facilitate. Wes really wants to meet Lacey, so Lacey, if you're watching, we got we got to set up a time for for Wes to meet you. He's really excited. Biggest fan. Yeah. Right. Biggest fan. Wes, you want to bring her a trophy? For, is she going to be your trophy the one, I, the one I won? Yeah. Show, show her the trophy you won. Dude, you can let Lacey sure, know I'm how sure good you already, are at uh, potato I'm sack sure, races. I'm sure she already saw it. That, oh. that, it went viral, you know. <laughs> well, and then uh, perfect time to help Wes work on his truck. Uh, Chris shows up. Yeah. We're going to go buy a truck right now. We can't work on a truck right now. What? What's wrong with this thing? I keep busting the sway bar uh, end link bushings. I keep busting sway bar end link bushings. Yeah, because the way they, the way they, the washers they give you, they're flat. And when the bushing gets you know, tighten down, it kind of mushrooms out and it cuts into it. So I got these cuffed washers that should help. Oh, what's up, Chris? Good morning, buddy. Good morning. Watch your fingers, bro. Watch your fingers. All right. A little more. All right, yeah, all right. I think we got it. All right, well, now that the uh, mandatory truck maintenance is done. Oh, man. Chris, we, hit. we, we spilled. Ew, what the fuck is we, that? We spilled on the interior. Dude, Dude no. get my shoulder first, man. No, I don't care about your shoulder. I care about my center console, bro. It's disgusting. Oh, what is that, man? It's, it's orange soda. Who loves orange soda? Ryan loves orange soda. Is it true? Mm -hmm. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see how today goes. I mean, we're in the, uh, we, we brought the I Can Afford It truck, but I'm rocking the, like, that dude's sketchy braids, so they probably shouldn't trust me, but let's see what happens. I, I just don't feel right. Being at a, at a Ford dealership, this feels weird. Wes, you feeling all right? No, I feel like I'm getting sick. <laughs> Wes really seems to like this. Oh, you want to try out the winch? Yeah, let's try it out. They ain't got a better spot for the hook. 
It could get a oh, shaft over here. Took Wes two seconds before he's already tearing stuff apart. Let's see a dually. Is it a 350 or a 450? Uh, this is it right here. We got 450 right here. That was easy. Oh, it's a lariat. Lariat. Oh. Nah, we need a platinum. We got to find us a platinum at 450. Oh, easy. Now, you guys might be saying, like, Rhino, what's going on? Why aren't you getting, like, the 5500 Chevy? And uh, the problem with that Chevy was, I don't know what it is about Chevy's commercial vehicles, but they the paint on them sucks. Like, it's just garbage paint. The interior, you can't get it decked out. So whereas like the F450s, you can actually get a uh, limited or a platinum interior on it. So like you're already kind of just getting the truck done on that terms. And all we got to really focus on is making it cooler. Whereas if we were to buy the Chevy, it literally needs a brand new paint job on day one. And that's like a huge expense. Wes, you really liking this thing, huh, buddy? I do. Uh, are, we, are you getting converted? I don't like the wheels. I got to say though, guys, I love this color red for the Fords. If I could ever commit to a red truck, it would be this Ford red. Yeah, but it Color matched and it looks better, man. It's all yeah, yeah, you gotta get rid of the chrome. You gotta color match everything. Oh, Wes, this one's got the Starwood performance package on this Raptor. No, it's not even a Raptor. It's a STX. I don't even know what this is. I feel lost in the, is this like the the Chevy's Black Widow package? Look, it's got a sweet star decal on the hood. It's a $17,000 upgrade. Yep, it's exactly like the Black Widow package then. But I don't Look, see. they don't even break down what you got. Somebody just hand wrote Starwood. 17 grand extra. It's an eco boost. Good, how are you? Good, good. Hey, well, you crawl, you're just not high enough. You need it a little bit higher. Well, I need a bigger truck to go higher. Yeah, a little. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, a 450, huh? Platinum? 450 platinum, yes, sir. I've always been a GM guy. Oh my gosh, are you all right? What the hell are you doing here, <laughs> man? I, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah we, do, we don't be. feel right being around. Trust me, uh, as, a, as GM guys, we feel weird being here. Oh my god. That's the thing, I ain't sure exactly what color I would want. I really like your guys' like that red. The ruby red, like yeah. that one truck that we had yeah, there. Yeah, but I don't know if I could ever commit to a, that color, you know? Let's look at this one. This one seems like it seems to be right. Let me pull this bad boy out All right. you. How about that? Well, you got a tight squeeze right here with this column. I don't know if you're gonna make it past. I mean, if you hit the column hard enough, what, how much price do we take off yeah, the truck? Oh, hey, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna take it out that way. Okay. Look at that turning radius. That is beautiful. Watch these fenders over there. Oh yeah, you got it. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta say, man, you know, you guys know I'm a GM guy, but Ford makes a beautiful looking truck. Let's see what we got on the interior. So this truck's a 2019. I haven't been able to find any 2020s uh, around town that are on the lot. I don't even know if the Super Duties are on the lot yet. I know the 2020 F-150s are. But let's see what we got going on here. What do you think, Wes? I like it. It's got a way better uh, outlet inverter than what we have. We only have like 100 watt, 150 watt. Yeah. Check this out, just so you know. You got the massage? Got the massage seats right there. Oh. Little round button. Oh, what? Yeah. Turn it on high for me. Hi. Hi. There you go. There you go. My, Give it a my second. My back's hurting from that ice skating. When you're on your lunch break, you just come in here and get a little massage. Take a nap. Yeah, <laughs> you <laughs> bet. <laughs> I will say, the one thing I like about Fords is uh, they have a giant window. So yeah, if you've ever yeah, been like yeah. me to where you've been yeah, upside down in a truck and you've had to climb out of the window, room back it's really nice having bit. this much window uh, space. You can adjust the seat on here. Don't blow out the speakers now. Don't blow out the speakers? Don't blow out the speakers. <laughs> oh, man, you don't know Wes. <laughs> yeah. I do like that he's just like, chilling over there and letting us do our thing. We got a center console. It's got a nice big deep center got console. A coin holder. And a coin holder. Had to buy mine on Amazon. Decent little storage space here. I wish it was a, a bit bigger of a cavity. I like this little setup right here though. Go from two to four cup holders. Wow. Oh, there we go. It's a little bigger. Well then here, if you ever, uh, your key fob ever dies. That's how you start your truck if your key fob ever dies. You just put it in there. Is this the, does this one have the 10 speakers or is? 10 speakers. 10 yeah. speakers? Yeah. Adaptive cruise control, collision right. warning. Does this do the auto braking or is that 2020 that uh, does the auto braking? 2020 brake? is going to start out with that. Okay. Yeah. Let's press that. I got to get my buddy back there a suntan. Don't worry. Well, keep going, keep going. Well, we got one that went. How do we get it all the way to the other one? Oh, look at that. How's that view back there, Chris? I mean, it seems like you got a ton of room back there, Chris. This, this feels like a much yeah, bigger cab the, than the, the AC vents back here. Oh, AC vents are nice. You only get that in the 2020. Our trucks don't have that. Is the front on our trucks, it's, it's ventilated. Is this true air conditioned or is this just ventilated? No, true air conditioning. It has a, a 
pumps it's air. It's own pump? This seat. Yeah. Gotcha. Not like I'd ever ride back here. I like these handles too. These handles are nice. I think we should take it for a spin, honestly. Yeah? Can we take yeah. it for a test drive? Sure, absolutely you can. All right. What do you think, Chris? You like it back here? It is a lot of space back here. Oh, dude. These seats are a lot more comfortable than they our are. back seats. So yeah. Nice. And there's a ton of room. Like, Chris, what are you, six, six, three and a half on a good day? On a good six, day, yeah. Six, two? Yeah, six, three. All right. Look at all that leg room you got. We don't, uh, this is our only cup holders back here. We got kind of in the door, I guess. You pull down the armrest. Oh, it's got a pop yeah, out? Pop oh, out, right. Okay. Yeah. All right. We might break that. <laughs> That's a little cheap. Sure. That's all right. Bad, I mean, do our arms touch? We good? They can touch. No, nah, we, don't, we don't need them to touch. You know, there's your 180 if when you're pulling out of a, out of a alleyway and you need to see down the street. You can go here, this gives you your front view right there. When you put it into reverse, obviously it's going to pull up no. and... and Can you preset on. the front view to come on at like a certain speed like Cadillac and stuff does? Under like five miles an hour the front camera comes on? Um, no. Does that have a in-bed camera? Is that what I'm looking at the... This particular one right here? No, yeah, or a Timsel one. camera? This one. That one, yeah, that one. Well, that one right there, oh, Okay, yes. so that looks in your bed. They're beautiful trucks, there's no doubt oh, about yeah. that. I mean, power galore. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a 450. Well, then you get the wide track axle, right? This one has the wide track front axle? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. I mean, it looked just based on seeing you turn it Solid out of that parking axle. spot. This would be a good test of the wide track axle of him pulling out here. As you can see, we'll be going to the solid front axle life. I, mean, I don't know if we'll be able to turn that wide still with uh, some 40s on it, but let's see what this thing's all about. Oh my gosh. Take it for a little test drive. I bet you enjoy going for test drives on these things more than uh, the little cars where they got to cram you in the back, huh? Oh yeah, especially the Mustang. <laughs> oh God. Uh, I have sciatica going on right now, and yesterday I was trying to sell a Mustang, and it was like, I'm not getting back. I wouldn't even sell one of those. <laughs> yeah. all, right. all right, first impressions. Let's see. We'll, we'll see. I mean. Do you mind if I scoot the seat back a no, little bit you towards you? Right he's got he's got so much room. I do like the auxiliary switches built in. Just... Now the two on the outside, they're like 40 amp. Alright, we gotta squeeze the big dually fenders through here. One thing I like is uh it's all electric, steering wheel adjust, and telescoping. Panels. One thing I liked is on the GMs, you gotta hold your uh, window button up the whole time. 40 gallon fuel tank on this. 40 thing. Gallon. Oh nice. How yeah. big is the DEF tank? Oh, good question. Uh, Probably five. Like 15. They're 15. Wins. So I believe these have the adaptive steering, is that correct? Uh, this should have the adaptive steering, yes. So that at certain speeds changes the firmness, I think, is that what uh, it does? No, no, adaptive, it has like a gyroscope in the steering, so if you're towing a trailer, instead of maybe something you would use a half a turn to maneuver, right. it would be a quarter. Uh, okay. It would allow you to operate the, the, the vehicle at a more precise you know, better handling and you know, parking a trailer. Gotcha, gotcha. That's pretty cool. Yeah, for being a 450 rated to tow 30,000 pounds, the suspension's actually really soft. Don't make me get a Ford. Do you, do you want a Ford now? The thing rides good. It rides really good. I'm surprised at how well it rides. I don't know if I'm ever going to get used to these things poking me in the butt while I'm driving. Though. Yeah, it's a little, <laughs> that's, that's a little odd. It's well, typical for smiling. a Ford. <laughs> it's typical for a Ford. Yeah, I don't know. This is a weird that's sensation. Funny. I'm a big GM guy, but I hate to say, I mean, so far I'm enjoying this a lot. Yeah. Like right. a lot, a lot. I wish the massage seats had a little more massage, yeah, but I feel, like, more. I feel like most truck guys aren't going to respect that opinion from us. <laughs> I need a deep tissue, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Got some shiatsu. They can get them with. See how this thing maneuvers. Let's get some lunch. Oh, sure. Well, it's going to be a daily driver, so I want to see how we uh, maneuver it through. Snappy U turn. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we'll go up here, Let's get, get off on Waring Road. First light, snappy U turn now, get us back towards the freeway. Lunch on Mr. Carvis. Jar Jarvis or Carvis? <laughs> Jarvis. Jarvis, yeah. yes. Lunch on Mr. Jarvis. <laughs> oh. Well, Complimentary, I mean, okay. you test drive the big boy, you get a... I heard, yeah, I heard if you convert from GM to Ford, they get, they buy you lunch. Yeah, yeah. we might do that, That's absolutely. All right, let's see. Oh, good luck. Yeah, we're going to make a U-turn here on a two-lane road Ooh, with, right. a, with a long bed. Oh, we're, my God. We're going to hit the curb. Nah, we'll, we'll do it. We might have to do a two-point here, but I want to see how well that wide track... Yeah, you got the green. Let's see how well the wide track turns. Wow. Oh, that's pretty close, boys. You could uh, oh, wheel it on. I, I don't want to go up on the curb. I don't own the truck yet, so. You could have wheeled it up on there. That would have, that's. that's your truck would have been about a six pointer. That's, that's impressive. So I see it's got blind spot monitoring, but I haven't seen them light up yet. 
it disables the camera while you're driving. Now, are these mirrors powered telescoping? Yes, sir. Absolutely right. powerful to powered telescoping. Whoa. Oh, that's, that's pretty nice. Inches. Punch it. It ain't broken in yet. I mean, it's got plenty of power. Park next to that big old shed. We'll park it, park it next to my truck. Well, uh, this is a dually. It might be. Those <laughs> parking spots are a little narrow. Yeah, your truck dealership, you got the smallest parking oh, spots in town I over know. here. It's a good thing we got the wide track front axle. <laughs> this thing turns beautifully. Like I said, for the size of the truck. So I feel like Ford's geared towards the guy that probably shouldn't be pulling a trailer sometimes when they need the checklist. <laughs> <laughs> and the little backup assist. I mean, literally, oh, yeah. if you go through the checklist, is your ball connected and locked? Oh, yeah. Electrical wire connected? Do the lights function correctly? Are the safety chains connected? Did you raise your tongue jack? Did you adjust your mirrors? Oh, adjust the gain settings? Huh. Uh, Door handles are a little funky, but I, I like kind of the... You see those drop down steps on it? Yeah, right, it's already got the steps. We don't gotta add that. Love the headlights on these. Definitely needs a lot of color matching. Factory front camera is nice. It's even got the little little thing that pops out and washes your front camera. Never understood the point of that unless you got real light dust, but anything on any of the stuff that we have, like you gotta actually swipe the crap off. And probably the best thing is you get round wheel wells, which means like now we can actually fit real big wheels and tires in there without having to jack it up crazy tall. But I think we all know I'm gonna end up jacking it up crazy tall. We'd finally get cab lights because California won't sell you cab lights on a 2500 truck. Okay. Nope, drop the tailgate. And then our tailgate step. Yeah. We need that for this guy. He's the oldest guy in the group, so he, uh, try it out, Chris. You got to model the step for us. That's nice. There you go. Well, it pulled me, though. Uh-oh. Yeah. And then we got the biggest guy in the group. <laughs> Gooseneck hookups. We got bed lights. Full bed lights. Oh, look at that. The bed lights even have a switch in the bed. We'll see when that's on a timer, because it won't turn back off. Uh oh Looks like somebody already spilled some, uh, poisonous death fluid. So one thing that I don't like about the Fords is that they have the giant fuel door to fit both. Whereas like Ram was able to combine them two even though they had to get rid of, of the lids or the caps on the, the fills, but. And then the only other thing is you don't get a short bed option. Nope. You're, you're stuck with the, the long bed. Well, we got some, looks like we got a nice under seat storage box. Uh, I don't know how this, oh geez, this whole thing folds up. So the one thing I got to say about Ford is a lot of their stuff certain times seems like cheap little kitschy ideas. And so like even like the little under seat storage, like it's just like seems flimsy plastic. The interiors are definitely stepping their game up. This interior is not quite as nice as the uh, the new 2019 Rams. But, uh, you know, I think this is a big improvement over the 2020 GM trucks, which we all know, like, I'm not a fan of that interior. Be in your video. Oh, you want to be in the video? You want to be in the video? What's up, dude? I like your videos. How's it going, man? Ron, appreciate it, bro. Are you buying a new truck today? No, no, no. You work here? I'm barely going to work here. Oh, you're going to work here? Oh, shoot. We don't want to get you fired before you start working here, dude. Don't leak the info that we're looking at Fords. We don't want nobody to know, all right? It's a secret between us, all right? got it. All right. So one thing we're going back and forth on right now is, obviously, this is the 2019, the 2020s. What'd you say, November, you can start ordering them? So the first batch for orders would be November, which we would anticipate probably February if they release the F450s by then. It could just be the 250s, 350s. We, we don't really, James is, a, he, he's trying for us, but we only know so much. You can only tell what Ford's gonna do so much. So I don't know. I mean, obviously I'd want the 2020. Like James was saying, there's not a whole lot of interior changes coming to 2020. Um, engine numbers are obviously looking better for 2020, and I think they changed the front end just a little bit. Um, not too crazy, not too many exterior, like it's not like you're gonna, the truck's gonna look completely different. So this is essentially the truck that we would be getting if we waited, but then it was, sounds like February would be the earliest and absolute earliest that we could get the truck. So now we gotta kinda see numbers wise. I think uh, we talked earlier while we were driving this truck is where's the numbers 85,000 which if you look at like the new ram um 3500s they're actually pretty much the same if not a little more expensive i know that's like the limited or whatever their top of the line package is but yeah the keyless entry right right that's ford exclusive nobody else has that 
So boom, you could throw your keys in the car, lock the door, come out, do your thing, come back, punch in a code, unlock the door. Now is this an actual button or is this just like a pressure pad? That one right there, it's just a pressure pad. So if you get out and you forget to lock your door, touch the button, you'll lock the doors for you. Will this unlock it too? Uh, you no, key grab the door. Oh, you just reach your hand in there? Yeah, grab the oh. door. Yeah. Because remember, if you leave your keys just like your Chevy, does it have a push button start? Leave the key <laughs> nah, it's a Chevy. Oh, we, no. we don't get that till 2020. Oh, you don't? Well, yeah. Lock and unlock your car from your phone. You can start your car from your phone. You could be across the country as long as you have cell service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start your car. Now, what if Russia wanted to hack my truck? There you go. Then it's Russia's <laughs> truck. It's Russia's, it's Russia's truck. truck. All right. It's Russia's truck. Yeah, I appreciate the honesty. Well, all right, guys. We just uh, test drove the F450. Wes, what'd you think, buddy? I think it's a nice truck really well. And also a huge thank you to James, our salesman, for, uh, you know, hanging Go out with us. Flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some salesmen get uptight. James, we really appreciate you uh, being cool with us. And hopefully uh, in the next couple weeks, James will know when the build and production dates are on the 2020s. Unfortunately, Ford, um, unlike Chevy or GM, they're not, uh, they're not gonna get the production year, like a, I don't know, at the end of the previous year. So like right now you can get the 2020s even though it's 2019 Ford, unfortunately for the super duties, you're gonna have to wait till actual 2020 to see a 2020 hit the lot. So that kind of sucks because I'd like to get a truck sooner than later, preferably by the end of the year. But if we can get one ordered, um, that might help. I don't know. I think the next step is I want to go look at the, uh, the Ram 3,500 dualies, the, uh, mega cab dually. So that's the short bed, which I prefer a shorter bed. I know a lot of you guys say long beds better, but just for maneuvering wise, I prefer the shorter bed, even though the wide track axle on those F450s is nice. That thing turned amazingly well. Uh, a long day of uh, looking at trucks. We gotta feed, Wes is hungry. He tried to get the Ford dealership to buy him some lunch, but. I had to I had to settle for some Cheetos. Hey, yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Uh, you're not gonna let Chris feed you? I said no walk. All right, well, we got Wes fed. Wes, you happy now, buddy? I'm satisfied. There you go. So with that, guys, we're going to wrap up this video. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a, an F450 order here in the near future. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated as soon as I get information as to when the ordering window opens and yada, yada, yada. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want on the side, you got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.